Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Reading from the Heart. Thanks for joining me on your December 2016 video. Uh, so we're going to do your reading for the month of December. Just to let you know, you've got two readings up already. They're your love readings, so one is for singles and one is for casuals. Uh, one is for singles and casually dating. The other reading is for those of you guys who are in a committed relationship. The other thing to say, you should see an inset box showing me shuffling the cards now on the channel. If you don't, I'm sorry, the computer may have crashed. It crashed on one of the videos before. If not, then I, I'll keep showing the cards anyway in front, just in case. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and your year ahead reading will be with you at the end of the month. So, Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius in the month of December 2016. What's coming in for Sagittarius? Some mineral rising signs. Sagittarius, some mineral rising signs. Sagittarius, some mineral rising signs for the month of uh, December 2016. Show me. Okay, so we're going to shuffle the card. We've shuffled them. We're going to split the deck, collect it back up, and we're going to put down your present situation, what your challenge is. Now the foundation area is very important because this tells me what the root issue is. This tells me what's going on around that root issue. And the most uh, likely outcome in the first two weeks of December uh, of this situation. This shows me what's happening in the immediate future, so the next, the final two weeks in December. This shows me the you now position, so this is people around you that are affecting the present or people around you or you and how you're approaching this situation. The influences around you are coming in as a result of the immediate future. What your hopes, uh, hopes or fears might be in conjunction what, with what happens in the immediate future and the influences coming in and the overall outcome. And we'll get some clarifiers afterwards, okay? So let's have a look at the you now. Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords is the issue. So there might be some things that you'll need to face up to. Um... um Sagittarius in the month of December 2016. There might be some home truths because the Ace of Swords is about mental clarity and it's about when we speak the truth. It's a communicative card, but you only have to look at how the sword points up and it's very stark and it's very strong. It's about facing clarity. It's about coming into your own. It's about overcoming a struggle, okay? The Ten of Wands shows us the you now position. So this might be something that you don't want to face. The Ten of Wands often means concealment. Uh, it can mean a real struggle to the finishing line. So I feel that some of you guys might be finding it difficult to face up to something here. And that thing, the issue, is the Ace of Swords. And this often represents the truth. What is it about the truth? Well, lost. So some of you guys are finding it difficult to fight, face up to the truth. Possibly around some form of a loss here with the Five of Cups. What's your challenge? The Ten of Swords. So some of you guys might have felt that you've been betrayed. Sagittarius, really, really hurt. And I feel that you are trying to conceal or ignore yourself or, or ignore the situation. Let me hold these cards up again just in case this video goes off by any chance. This is you guys in the you now position, the Ten of Wands. And I feel that this is a card of when you're trying to avoid something, you're struggling with something, you're concealing yourself from something. What are you concealing yourself from? Well, the issue is the truth because you've got the Ace of Sword. It might be some form of communication. It might be some mental clarity or somebody that gives you the mental clarity that you need. But this is around some loss. I feel that you'd rather forget about it rather than face up to it, if that makes any sense to you. Because I feel the challenge is some of you guys might still be feeling in victim mode. You might even be still be feeling some form of betrayal going on there. So therefore, in the present situation, where does that leave you? Well, the King of Cups. There's somebody in your present, uh, Sagittarius, and this isn't you. This can be, uh, well, we could read this two ways. We could read it as a person. It could be a Scorpio individual, okay? And could be, King of Cups can be a fairly reliable individual. So this could say that in the present situation, this can be a counsellor, for example, somebody who's helping you with your emotional problems. So in the present situation, as a result of all this stuff, the thing, something that you're not facing up to, in the present, you might be thinking about going to counselling, Sagittarius. You might be thinking about getting some help from a King of Cups individual here. This also can be a friend, just a really good friend who's really kind, really responsible, who gives you some very good words of advice. This can also be yourself, even though you are fire, it doesn't matter, this can be you, and this means somebody who is, uh, but I don't feel that this is you, because all of this looks fairly negative to me, it looks like you're not facing up to something here in the month of December 2016, because I feel the challenge is 
you, you can't get yourself up from something. Some of you guys might be finding it difficult to kind of rise, rise above what's happened to you regarding a person. And that leaves you at the present as being the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, it can be you if you're shut down emotionally because this person finds it difficult to uncover or to speak about how they feel. Luckily, you're not the King of Cups in the reverse because you'd be a complete and utter wreck. But in the upright, this person is trying to get better, but they're finding it difficult to kind of open up. So it might be that you're the King of Cups in the, uh, in the present where you're finding it difficult to open up. But this might be also somebody that you're speaking to. So what's the best case scenario for you guys, um, Sagittarius? The Ace of Pentacles, well, to accept help or to accept a new opportunity. When you get cards, that's the one, your best case scenario or the most likely outcome, that you'll receive some form of help, uh, gifts, whatever it is that's going to help you to kind of get out of this little bit of a rut here. When you get cards that are holding a hand out like this, like the Ace of Cups or Ace of Pentacles, they're cards that reference somebody who wants to say sorry or they want to offer some help to you or they want to, you know, give you a piece of advice or offer an opportunity. I mean, this King of Cups, it might be somebody that you're consistently thinking about. could be somebody that hurt you maybe, but maybe this person here wants to give you some, uh, you know, uh, an apology here with the Ace of Pentacles. What happens in the immediate future for you guys? Wow, there's hope. There's a lot of optimism showing in the immediate future. It's lovely. This card says, you know, you're being guided by a higher force. So don't feel that you're out there on your own, uh, Sagittarius, okay? Because the star card is a wonderful card. And it says, you know, you guys are going to be feeling really hopeful in the immediate future in the second two weeks uh, in December. And why is that? What's in around that? Well, it's interesting because coming in around that is the five of wands. So, um, what is the five of wands coming in around the star? To me now, this becomes a card of enlightenment because you can see the star as being a card of hope and optimism and faith in a higher force. And I feel that this is more about a clearing energy maybe because the star means healing. And the star card, I feel that this means healing. So I feel some healing is coming in for you guys, a certain amount of cleansing. Because coming in around that is the five of wands. And it might be that if there is somebody who you have fallen out with or you've not gotten on with Sagittarius, it could be that this situation happens again. So maybe this adds to the healing that's coming through the star card because it's a realisation of something here. Maybe you realise that you haven't lost as much as you thought you did. What are your hopes going to be? Well, the Five of Pentacles. Hopes or fears, Five of Pentacles. It could be, looking at another way, that maybe something optimistic comes in. Because the best case scenario, the most likely outcome so far, is an opportunity that's presented to you. And this could be via this King of Cups here. So it might be, and this is you because you're ones anyway. This is you who are struggling, alright, in the you now position. The issue is the truth, communication. So it might be that you're having communication with a certain person here. It's around the loss of something. Could be a relationship, could be a family matter, whatever. And that's because the challenge is you feel that you've been betrayed. So it leaves you at the King of Cups. And the King of Cups often represents uh, speaking, sorting an issue out, sorting an emotional issue out. So both parties are quite happy. Both parties are calm. Both parties feel that they've got uh, equal measure. And it's fair. And so the best case scenario is the Ace of Pentacles, and this can be to offer forgiveness, to 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 take, uh, to offer forgiveness, to receive forgiveness. So therefore, in the immediate future, I feel that you guys are going to be feeling really optimistic with that star card. But what's coming in around that is five of wands. So that might be an argument that's happening here, and a disagreement that's still there. Your fear will be five of pentacles. So perhaps going back to being detached from this individual. And the outcome shows as temperance. But peace is restored, it would seem. So maybe this five of wands isn't an argument because five of wands can actually mean that you're starting to build bridges. I feel that there's optimism here and that is that you're starting to build bridges with that five of wands energy there. And therefore your fears will be, with the five of pentacles, going back to that detached state that we can see here, here and here. Because the outcome is temperance and temperance is to make peace. Temperance is to see one another's point of view. I feel that an argument is resolved here. I'm not going to read this negatively. I'm going to read this in the positive, which is to build bridges, to work together, to collaborate. Let's get some uh, opening. Let's open up this reading a bit. So it's really interesting. Let's have a look why we've got the Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords about uh, in terms of the um, root issue for the month? Well, it's about the magician. 
So it seems that there needs to be some communication here. Um, and it's about the magician. And the magician can mean starting over again. Okay, so it can mean, usually this is cause and effect is the magician, but this can be a magician. It can be somebody who you want to tell the truth. It can be, you know, to cut through the bullshit. We know that the Ace of Swords represents cutting through illusions here. So I feel that there is either some communication that comes to you. The foundation for the month suggests either communication or mental clarity. And it seems to be around a magician. Now, a magician is somebody who creates an illusion. They're very good. He's not in the reverse, so it doesn't suggest a con man, but he suggests somebody who's not boldly truthful for you. So I feel that you're cutting through some form of an illusion here in the month of December 2016. In the you now position, you're the Ten of Wands. And why is Sagittarius the Ten of Wands in the you now position? Why is Sagittarius the Ten of Wands? Because of judgment. I feel that you, uh, for some reason, you're trying to avoid something here. And that's because of judgment. That's because you're either trying to avoid a wake-up call or you're trying to avoid some form of communication with that judgment card. Because the issue is about communication and cutting through the illusion. There's something you don't want to face up to here with uh, these two cards, I feel. And that thing is around loss. Why is it around the Five of Cups? Why is it around the Five of Cups? Why is it around the Five of Cups? Because of the Knight of Wands. Somebody might have left the Knight of Wands. Maybe it's around the Five of Cups. You're feeling sad, bereft, disappointed, perhaps because somebody left. So I feel that there is a sense of... Uh, we can see that you're trying to avoid something here, I feel. You're struggling with something here. This is you now, Sagittarius, in the month of December 2016. And it's with that judgment card. And it's because of the judgment card. You're avoiding judgment. You can see as well, if you look at those two cards together, how the guy has got... Uh, ten wands up against judgment. So he's avoiding judgment. So you're avoiding some form of comfort, um, conversation. You're avoiding some form of awakening that's coming to you in the month of December 2016. You don't want to know. You don't want to acknowledge something here. And that's because there needs to be, with this Ace of Swords, some form of cutting through an illusion. Mental clarity. There's a mental clarity or there's some form of communication that gives clarity with that Ace of Swords. And it's because of the magician... All right, so I feel that you're avoiding almost starting over again for some of you guys, okay? Because the magician means to start over again. It means to start creating something new, all right? And with the Ace of Swords, this is the breakthrough card. So we've got here the foundation for your life in the month of December 2016, Sagittarius, is um, a new start. I feel that the Ace of Swords is cutting through, making a breakthrough, a really important breakthrough. It can be uh, to do with some form of communication, and that's because of the magician. It can be starting over again with another individual. It can be starting over by yourself. It can be concerning a magician that you're needing the truth from. But you're, how you're approaching it in the you now is you're avoiding this conversation, or you're avoiding this communication, or you're avoiding this chance to start over again, or you're simply avoiding the truth, because the judgment card is all about the truth slapping you in the face so I feel there's something here you're trying to avoid with someone and that's around loss so that ace of swords because of the magician I feel the magician is somebody who's speaking to you because the magician is a communicator and the ace of swords is mental clarity so I feel that really the root issue is some form of clarity that comes to you via a magician and this is somebody who's communicating with you but how you're approaching this is I don't want to know I don't want to know what they've got to say because it's about loss, somebody that left. So I feel that you're receiving a message about somebody who might have left. And I feel that you're receiving it via a third party, maybe a friend, somebody who knows you, somebody who knows the other person who kind of bowed out on you. And that's because of the Ten of Swords. So let's get the other card on the Ten of Swords. Why is your challenge the Ten of Swords? Why is Sagittarius' is challenge the Ten of Swords? Because of the Two of Wands. Um, I feel that you're still at a crossroads. I feel, you know, you look at the two of wands and this is somebody who uh, has one wand in the left and a globe in the right. So they're taking from the past into the future, which is why they're at a crossroads. And that's why I feel your challenge is the ten of swords, because I feel that you're not truly over this thing yet. So you're still feeling in victim mode because your life is almost kind of, the Two of Wands isn't often a card about being put on hold, but it can be because Wands represent ideas, beliefs, and also growth. This is kind of the very, very early stages of moving out of a situation or moving into something new. But you can also say that you're a little bit at a crossroads and you don't know what direction to take. So I feel with this Ten of Swords, your challenges, you're still feeling 
quite sore. And that's because of the two of wands. It can be that somebody decided to go in a certain, a certain direction here. But it can also be that you've been at a crossroads ever since because of that Ten of Swords. You've been quite hurt. So just to recuperate, I feel that uh, there's some information that's coming to you, that Ace of Swords. And I feel it will be via a magician, somebody who's communicating with you. I feel that this is going to be around somebody that walked out on you. Maybe the Five of Cups, you're still feeling upset because somebody left the Knight of Wands. It's communication from a third party about somebody who left. And you're avoiding this here. You don't want to know the news. Judgment doesn't just mean a fresh beginning. It also means, honestly, seriously, I've experienced this card myself. Judgment is when you smoke... And you get an advert on the television that says you're going to die if you smoke. Judgment is if somebody gives you a call and says you need to give that up because that's a really bad habit and you know you need to do it. So judgment is this person avoids judgment. They don't want to know because it's too painful. This is why it's painful because somebody left. You're receiving some information, I feel, from somebody here. And your challenge is the Ten of Swords. You're still feeling really, really hurt by the situation, and that's because of the two of wands. You've probably been at a little bit of a standstill ever since. One's one foot in the past, one foot in the present. You want to move forward, but you're still being held back by this energy here. So therefore, that leaves you at the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups in the present for Sagittarius? Why is the King of Cups in the present for Sagittarius? Because you're worried the Nine of Swords. So it might be somebody that you're speaking to. Okay, King of Cups, as I've said, can be a very helpful energy. This is somebody who understands. This is like the Queen of Cups, somebody that can give you really good advice. Because of the Nine of Swords, some of you guys might still be really, really hurting over a certain thing. Some of you guys might be on the rebound. Because the King of Cups can be a lover, potentially. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, doesn't have to be. But somebody who's really, really kind. And that's because of the Nine of Swords. You're still really upset, possibly over someone else. So maybe this, if it's a love situation, it, maybe it's a rebound thing here. Okay, If it's not love, then I feel that this is somebody who's helping you through. Somebody who's really giving you some good advice. But also this can, King of Cups can be you as well, Sagittarius, and it says that you don't open up very well emotionally because of all this. You're a little bit shut down, and that's because you're still really facing some shit around this situation. So why is the best case scenario, the most likely outcome, the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius in the month of December 2016? Why is the most likely outcome, the Ace of Pentacles? Because of the Nine of Cups. So it looks like you're going to have a wish fulfilled, and this comes through via some form of help or an offer here. Okay, so for some of you guys who've been really kind of going through some depression or feeling really, really down, possibly about somebody leaving you, you're gaining some form of help. It could be that you're given some form of uh, assistance with this Ace of Pentacles or an offer of something here with the Ace of Pentacles here. And that's because of the Nine of Cups, a wish coming true, wish fulfilled. And we've got another wish card here. But I'm just wondering who this King of Cups is. Or whether this King of Cups is... Because I can't see... This just seems that you're trying to avoid something or a situation here. So I can't see this person being somebody from the past. I feel this is somebody new. Either it's a counsellor or somebody that's giving you some really helpful guidance or something like that because you're really upset. Or maybe yourself who's not opening up because you're really upset. But I feel that you get an offer. And it could be because of the Nine of Cups of Party. Nine of Cups often represents uh, a social gathering, uh, a party, a club... Uh, a place where people are really enjoying themselves. So it could be the best case scenario is that there's going to be a new opportunity that comes to you in terms of love, and that's because of the Nine of Cups. Maybe this is a social event that you'll go to and you'll meet someone at within the first two weeks of December. Because I feel that you're struggling with somebody here that you don't want to see and you don't want to hear about, even though somebody's trying to tell you about them. And so therefore, in the immediate future, you've got the star. Why do we have the star for Sagittarius in the immediate future? Because you're a new opportunity. There's a window of opportunity opening up for you. So things are looking really, really positive because you can kind of see yourself away from this situation. Page of Pentacles often represents new opportunities, windows of opportunity that open up to us, um, <clears throat> Sagittarius, okay? But why is the Five of Wands coming in? Why is the Five of Wands coming in? Why is the Five of Wands coming in? Uh, I feel that you're not interested because I feel that there's a sense of frustration with that Five of Wands and that's because of the Two of Swords. I feel that you're still very, very, very blocked by a situation here. So there could be the Five of Wands could be some form of frustration. But also this could be that, you know, things are looking positive for you because windows of opportunity are opening up with that Page of Pentacles. And therefore it might be that you've got a lot of competitors, Five of Wands, for your affections 
and you could go in two areas here with the two of wands you could go in two directions but i feel that this is the motionless for you and this is you um no it's not this is you well this is you if you're feeling frustrated so you block people out but also this doesn't have to be this can be people vying for your attention the five of wands and this is you here kind of could go you know in two directions okay but I feel that there's a lack of emotion here. I don't feel that there's very much interest in terms of love here or forming something lovable, really. I feel you're trying to get over someone else, Sagittarius. And therefore, your hopes or fears will be the Five of Pentacles. Why are your hopes or fears the Five of Pentacles? Why are your hopes or fears the Five of Pentacles? Because of the lovers. I feel that your fear will be not being able to make any type of attachment with others with that five of pentacles and that's because of the lovers you're possibly still in love with someone else the lovers means to be in love so i feel that you're in love with someone else which is why it's difficult for you to make some form of attachment to others and therefore we've got temperance in the outcome why do we have temperance in the outcome why have we got temperance in the outcome well, that's interesting because of the four of wands and temperance and four of wands can mean a reunion for some reason, but I don't know why that is, because it doesn't look like there are any reunions here to me. It really doesn't, not with these cards. Because you're avoiding judgment here. And it looks like there's some communication coming from a magician. Maybe somebody wants to, you know, shit stir or something like that. Magician can be a bit of a shit stirrer, to be honest. But this is a card of communication here as well from someone. So I feel this communication coming from a magician. But I feel that you are trying to avoid this judgment. You're trying to avoid these words out of the blue from this individual. Because it means, this is around sadness over Knight of Wands. Somebody who left. So maybe is the magician telling you about that this person is sad that they left? That's interesting, I'm wondering. Because this Ace of Swords for me is about a communication that comes in. It's through the Magician, communication card again here. You're avoiding judgment. So maybe you're avoiding getting back involved with someone here. Maybe because you're upset that they left. And the challenge is the Ten of Swords. You felt that you were, be, you were betrayed because of the Two of Wands. Maybe somebody went out into the world and decided to kind of move away from you. So therefore, in the immediate future, the King of Cups shows up. This is usually a shoulder to cry on. And we can see that you're upset here, Nine of Swords. This isn't you. I believe that this is, this is you here, with a shoulder to cry on. I'm going to read this two ways, uh, Sagittarius. The first way that I'm going to read it is I'm going to say that for some of you guys, uh, I feel that you won't want to know about some form of information that comes to you about somebody who left. Okay, and you'll look at new opportunities for love to come in. Uh, I don't know why we've got temperance showing here in the outcome as a result of this. Maybe it's finding peace within your own home with that four of wands, potentially. New opportunities with that ace of pentacles. And that nine of cups, feeling kind of quite satisfied, self-satisfied. Best case scenario for you guys, going out, meeting other people. But you, you're not interested, some of you. For some of you, I feel it's going to be a case of that you receive some information from a magician here. But you're avoiding a rematch with... Now, the magician could be the person who left. And maybe the information that this person is giving you is that they are sorry that they left. So it could be that the information, that ace of swords... The root foundation for the month is the Ace of Swords, possibly cutting through the bullshit of the magician. Information from a magician, somebody who's charismatic, somebody who's very kind of appealing to you, somebody who you're very drawn to. So, so this is possibly somebody that you were involved with. And you are avoiding Ten of Wands, maybe a renewal of the relationship with judgment. Because I feel that this person is saying, I'm sorry, five of cups that I left, the knight of wands. So it could be that somebody's actually coming back for some of you guys and saying, I'm sorry that I left. But the challenge is that they betrayed you, perhaps through that two of wands when they moved on. And therefore, in the present situation, they might be crying, nine of wands. Perhaps they're appealing to your better nature. Maybe you are the king of cups and they're appealing with that nine of swords to your better to your better half, to your better uh, side, as the King of Cups. 
you're no longer this here, you're now the King of Cups. So some of you guys might actually be this King of Cups energy, and this person is saying, I'm sorry, they're crying, they're like, I'm sorry I left. Therefore, the best case scenario would be this person offering you an opportunity for love, a longer term opportunity here. And it's true, you know, with the Nine of Cups, you're feeling really quite proud. Okay, you've made a, you've been made an offer, and it sees you feeling quite smug about it. So therefore, in the immediate future, things are looking really, really optimistic as you look at the potential now for proper growth with this page of pentacles with this individual. So there could be somebody coming back to you guys as well. However, what's coming in is some form of frustration in which it could be a fight, it could be some form of a disagreement with this individual, but it sees you being in two minds about them with that two of swords. It might also be that you're frustrated because potentially this person here, I remember we've got a lot of air here. We've got air sign here, magician is an air sign here as well. All right, and this person is crying here. So this reading might be as much about them as it is about you. So it might be that you're feeling, especially if it's an air sign person, it might be that you're feeling frustrated because you can't get a hold of this person. What looks really, really good at first in the first two weeks, suddenly that you feel that they might be up to their old tricks again with these cards here. And therefore the fear might be that the Five of Pentacles, somebody's shutting you out because of the lovers, because of the relationship, the type of relationship you have. But in the outcome, it shows temperance, coming back together and, you know, reunion within this relationship, four of wands. Reuniting, both these cards can be kinds of uh, people who are reuniting. So uh, for some of you guys, it will be that you give up on a particular person, you uh, look at other opportunities with other people, and you move forward in that direction, even though it doesn't seem to work out and you've still got somebody on your mind. And for some of you guys, I could easily see with this reading somebody coming back and pleading with you and saying how sorry they are about letting you down. And just as you start to trust them again in December, they do something that makes you distrust them. But it all kind of turns out okay in the end. Let's have a look at what the um, angel reading is telling you. Oh, geez, thought it had gone off then. So, Universe Spirit, show me. What is the angel message for the month of December 2016? What is the angel message that you have for Sagittarius in the month of December 2016? Show me. There's something better. Wow. There's something better. See that? Well, that's interesting because it might be that if somebody comes back on your tail, Sagittarius and kind of says to you, look, I'm really sorry that I let you down and I... You know, it might be that the angels are saying, actually, you know what, maybe you need to stick to your guns. Because some of you guys look like you actually do give in to someone here. That's how it looks to me. It looks like some of you guys, this person might be up to their old tricks and you might be like, oh, fuck, they've done me over again. But all of a sudden you're like, okay, they come back around, you're like, oh, thank God for that. And you let them back in with these two outcome cards here. Everything's fine and rosy in the garden. But the reading, the angels are saying there's something better. So let's have a look what the angels mean by there's something better. Heaven has something wonderful in mind for you. However, it's not the same thing you have planned. Ask yourself what you would rather have. The very thing you're asking for or something that would make you much happier and more fulfilled. Sometimes God has joys in stores for us that we could never imagine on our own. Open your mind and heart to the possibility that you deserve even more than what you're asking for. Trust your angels to guide you in a new and exciting direction. And it's true. The reading really looks like some of you guys give in to a particular person here to me because it looks like they plead to your better nature. They plead on your better nature. And for some of you guys, you might just accept that and say, okay, let's try again. And then they kind of let you down again. You get frustrated, but it all turns out good when they're there. But I feel that that's not the end of the story. I feel that this person, for some of you guys, might be playing you a bit and there might be something better there. For some of you guys who are avoiding any type of contact with someone in the month of December, it's still saying that there's something better there. Even though you still might feel very, very in love, the lovers, with this individual, uh, it's, it's definitely saying that there is something better. And maybe the temperance card is showing us that there is healing coming. Uh, and with the four of wands healing through the family or healing through friendships or whatever it is 
You know, you can't always read the cards in one way. You can read them singularly. Temperance is healing and four of wands can be in the family. So there might be some healing here coming in and that you're best off just kind of staying with what you know at the moment. But it's a beautiful reading either way. I feel that if you, somebody does kind of try to appeal to your better nature and you don't trust them, I would say not to go for it because it's probably not going to work out in your favour in the end in 2017. For some of you guys, you are completely ignoring someone and, you know, it's the best thing for you then maybe to keep on that track at the same time. That's your reading, Sagittarius, for the month of December 2016. I would like to say thank you very, very much for choosing Carol's Universe and I will see you guys on your year ahead. Take care.